Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 810 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It is Unit 8, Lesson 5, Past Models. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 3, Students Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. And number four, a dictionary. Lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to use past models in writing sentences. So, let me ask you the question, what is a past model? In order for me to explain this to you, you need to read this sentence. See? She, and I have a gap, you to clean your room. You need to use the past model in this sentence. Should have told. She should have told you to clean your room. Let me try another example. They, gap, the place for doing exercises. Let us model. May have used. They may have used the place for doing. A third example. The doctors, gap, hard to save the sick. Using past model will be must have worked. The doctors must have worked hard to save the sick. So, past models like should have told, may have used, must have worked are used to talk about preposition, uh, suppositions, or speculations regarding the past. A past, something like telling or using. You will find them in each sentence. Have told, have used, have worked. So, let me explain past model even further. Past models are used to talk about suppositions or speculations. So, I will pull up the timeline, okay? And where is the present in the middle, the past and the future. We use past models are used to talk about suppositions or speculations uh, regarding the past, which is in an unknown or unspecific point in time in the past. Past models. So we have a list of past models. We have should, could, must, may, and might. Past models. So the models are again should, could or could not, must, may, might. And we have uses for each one of them. So we use should, uh, should is used to express regrets about the past. Could not, we use it to express regrets, possibility or degree of certainty. Must, may and might are used to express degrees of certainty about the past. So, building past model affirmative sentences, that means uh, positive sentences. So, we start with a subject pronoun, and then a model, and then have, then past participle, and then a complement, completion of the sentence. So, let us put the uh, subject pronouns. For example, I, we can say I or he, she, it. You can use the boy as a subject pronoun, or the team, or you. And then we use the models. So, should, could, may, might, and must. Then I add have, just like that. Then I use the past participle of the verb. In this case, it is played. You will know you will notice that the verb ends with ed. That means it is a past participle. And then we add the complement. Let me read you the sentence. I should have played chess before. Or you can say the boy may have played chess before. So let's jump to task number one. Question. Fill in the gaps in the following and you have a mark of three. Number one, they gap at home. You should use the model 
and the verb between the parentheses. You have five seconds. Now let's check the model answer. The answer is should have stayed. They should have stayed at home. If you are correct, give yourself a mark. Let's do number two. She, gap, the reports a bit late. You have to use the modal may plus the verb between the parentheses. You have five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is may have submitted, may have submitted. Now, number three, the owner gap the shop by now. You have to use must plus uh, close. You have five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is must have closed, must have closed. Now, correct yourself out of three and let's carry on. So, building past models uh, using negative sentences. So, we start with the subject pronoun, as always, and then a model, and then not, which is the negative word, and then have, then past participle, then the complement. Okay, so we use the subject pronouns just like before. And then we add the models just like before. And then we just add not. So we have the, uh, the word have, and then past participle played, chess before. But we also co can abbreviate could and not, may and not, model and not, just like this. shouldn't, couldn't, mayn't, mightn't, mustn't. Then we add have and past participle then complement. Let's do uh, task number two. Question, fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one, he, gap, you, a permit, you have to use a model, might plus the verb give. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is might not have given or mightn't have given. All right, if you're correct, give yourself a mark. Number two, the man gap that car. You should use should plus buy, five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is shouldn't have both, shouldn't have both. All right, number three, you gap that all by yourself, could and design, five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is you couldn't have designed that all by yourself. All right, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Form in the past participle. You see, it is very important to know how to form the past participle to form more uh, past model sentences. So we have verb types. The first type is regular verbs. And the, the rule is simple. You have the verb plus ed, just like the examples. Play, you just add ed to make it in the past participle. Played, visit, visited, call, called, but we also have a different category. It is irregular verbs, where we do not have a simple rule. Just like be becomes been, it changes totally. And then break, broken. Fall, fallen. Bring, brought. Cost stays the same, cost. If you open a dictionary or if you go online, you will find a similar table to this, where you have the base form, present simple, past simple, past participle, 
present participle. The first example is with do. Do in the base form is do. And then you have do, does in the present simple. Then did. And then done as the past participle. Then doing as the present participle. Write, writes, wrote, written, writing. Pay, pay, pays, paid, paid, and paying. We are going to focus on the past participle in this lesson. Task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question A. Complete the sentences with the past models, model forms of the verbs. And you have a mark of four. Number one. I may change the printer when I pull the paper out. I have to use may and damage to make this a model, a past model. So I say may have damaged, may have damaged. Now you have a list of sentences. Number two, the employees should ask for permission before they left work early. Amel must forget to invite Jamila to the party since she's not here. They could warn us that the storm was coming. Fahad got to the airport late, but he might not miss the flight because it was delayed. And you have three minutes to do this. <laughs> Order answer for question A. Number two, should have asked. Three, must have forgotten. 
four, could have warned. Five, might not have missed. Task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question B, write four sentences with past models using the following. And you have a mark of eight. Number one, my mom must go to the bank. Your task is to transform these words into past model sentences. Number two, the boy could not ride the bike far. Three, the manager could write the, uh, the report. And five, the teacher may give me an extra mark. You have three minutes. Now, let's jump to the model answer. But before we do that, let's go over self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now, for the model answers for question B. Number one, my mom must have gone to the bank. Two, the boy couldn't have ridden the bike far. Three, the manager should have written the report. Four, the teacher may have given me an extra mark. Now compare both sentences and let's carry on. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back for finishing the lesson, plus two marks, and calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. 
now you are able to use past models and write in sentences. And you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% and above, that means 15 marks and more, then you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means 15 marks and below, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.